This is Los Angeles, California. Home to the Hollywood sign, a lot of traffic, beautiful weather, and great food. There are an endless amount of restaurants in LA, so today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorites in this food guide. So make sure you're subscribed and let's get started. We're starting this food guide off at a small little hole in the wall restaurant located in a place you wouldn't expect. We have made it to Sap Coffee House, which is actually some of the best known Thai food in LA. And the best part of all is it is in this strip mall that looks like this. One thing to note is this place only takes cash, so you can go across the street and grab some at the liquor store. This place has actually been reviewed by a lot of different food bloggers online, and the famous Anthony Bourdain actually did an episode here for one of his shows, and he raved about this place, so I'm really excited to try it out. I'll do one of the pad thai with tofu. We yeah, two uh, Thai iced coffees. And I'll also get the, uh, the boat noodles beef, please. They are famous for their uh, boat noodles here, so we got the shrimp salad, and then I got a pad thai. I'm absolutely obsessed with pad thai, so I had to try it here since their noodles are so good. And then Peter obviously got these famous boat noodles, which I'm also gonna give a bit of a try as well. The broth is like amazing. That is really good. I've been to Thailand a bunch of times, I actually lived there for a little bit, and so I know good Thai food when I taste it, and this is some good Thai food. So for some of the dishes, you can decide if you want to have pork, chicken, or tofu. I put a lot in my mouth. I honestly think this is some of the best pad thai I've ever had. Next up. We're gonna try this shrimp salad. I'm gonna bite of that. Oh my god. It's good. So good. It's so fresh. All right, so we just got the bill and our total for it four or five different dishes actually was $49. So very well priced for such a delicious meal. This right here is Egg Tuck. Another day, another food spot. So we actually spotted a food place across the street from us called Egg Tuck. So we're gonna give it a try. Their Instagram is popping off. It looks really, really good. All right, so we have two different things here. I got the avocado Egg Tuck and we also have the loaded tots which look absolutely incredible i really i have no words all right so this right here is the avocado egg tuck and you know what i just realized so basically what they do with the sandwich is they it's not cut all the way to the bottom but they take a thick piece of bread they cut it and then stuff all the stuff inside it looks like this oh my god that is so good next we're gonna try the egg tots essentially it's an egg tater tots and some sauce this is incredible highly recommend you guys have to try this out for breakfast today we are trying tacos 19 86. 86, which Peter says apparently is the best tacos in the city. So we got our food here and it was really, really quick. And then essentially you can add on obviously your own salsa that you want, depending on the spicy level. So we have a mushroom quesadilla and then also two mushroom tacos, fairly small, but that being said, they're also affordable. So you can get a bunch of them. And they do come with guacamole and salsa already. Those are incredible. It's like very flavorful. Everything about it is fantastic. I have a few different locations. I'm gonna stop talking while I'm eating. So the next restaurant I am trying today is Gracias Madre, and I'm here with a very special guest all the way from Vancouver. It's Jennifer, one of my very good friends. We are at Gracias Madre. We got some spicy margaritas, our favorite. Essentially, this restaurant has a bunch of really, really great vegetarian and vegan options. I come here every single time I'm in LA, and it's one of my favorites. They have a really great patio as well behind me here, but I think we're gonna get some maybe guac and chips to start. So we ended up getting the ceviche and also the crab cakes, which are both fully vegan, so there was no meat at all, and they were honestly super delicious. Since breakfast is the most important meal of the day, you know I had to take you somewhere delicious. This spot is known as Toast, and you're sure to spot an influencer while you dine here. The food is here, it looks really, really good. They have some great breakfast options on the menu, and then also some really good lunch options. I've also spotted a skillet cookie over there, which, I mean, it is breakfast, but it does look really good. Skillet cookies are honestly the best. And this place is quite busy, so you definitely want to come early. All right, so we are currently out in Malibu, and we're at a place called Cafe Cabana, and it's right in the little shopping area, kind of across from the beach. And we did both get margaritas. I got a mango cilantro margarita blended, and but this place is a really great place to come if you're looking for kind of an alternative to the traditional spots you think about in Malibu, like Nobu or Malibu Farms. So definitely check it out. We are heading right now to a place called Vow Burger, which is basically a vegan in and out. It is seriously so good. I had it last time I was in LA and it's unreal. All right, so I got the regular burger here, and then we have the Vow style fries, and this looks so good. But these taste like the animal style fries from in and out all right the next spot we are trying is a place called uncle polly's it's a deli that travis scott actually made popular after he wore one of his hats i will grab the uh downtown turkey please all right we have secured the goods each sandwich was around 13 dollars. i ended up getting the veggie 
Oh, these are gigantic. All right, so it looks like. Let's give her a turn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I should have put tomatoes. Mm hmm. Very simple, just like fresh, good sandwich. So, if you're looking for lunch spot, definitely check out Uncle Polly's. They also have outside seating. And um, yeah, a little bit of a wait to kind of be prepared. They do have a bunch of different locations. They have, I think, four locations all throughout LA. Super good. Give her a try. All right, the next place we are trying on our food tour is Ciccone's. It's a bougie Italian spot here in West Hollywood. The food looks delicious, so I'm really excited to try some items on the menu. Wow, what is this thing called? A crudite. Crudite. Wow. wow, this is the largest bowl I've ever seen. We have two cheese dishes. These look delicious. We love some cheese. All right, good morning. It is a new day today, and this morning we are going for breakfast at a place called Pascal's, which apparently has amazing croissants. We got the goods. We got some chocolate croissants. We're going to dig into these at home. Croissants pretty good. Yeah. It would be better heated up or warm for sure, but mm. very flaky. We're now back from Pascal's. I would definitely recommend to go early in the morning when they were fresh. They were pretty good, but I think would be even better when they're hot and right out of the oven. We're currently in downtown LA, which I don't typically like to come to if I'm being honest. I do find downtown LA to be a bit, I would say rough around the edges in some parts. It definitely has nice pockets, but some areas aren't necessarily the nicest. Food just got here. We decided to share a few things. So we have a sandwich that we split and then also a falafel platter. Like, thank oh, thank you, you so much. much. And then we got a lemonade here. Nice. We just finished up at Dune downtown and you guys, it was incredible Mediterranean food. The wrap I had was next level. So if you're looking for a good and healthy spot to eat, check it out because it was amazing. 10 out of 10 stars. All right, so the sun is starting to set and it is absolutely beautiful. I find Los Angeles sunsets are seriously the best. So yeah, we're just watching it go down and then we're gonna go grab some dinner in Venice. We're going to Butcher's Daughter, which is really, really good. It's a vegetarian restaurant. Actually, it's the Butcher's Daughter. Um, but I usually go there for brunch when I'm here in Los Angeles, but they do have some good dinner menu options as well. Okay, so we've made it now to the Butcher's Daughter here on Abbott Kinney and we just got a bunch of sharing plates and highly recommend the Laura Seal and Fruit. And that wraps up my LA food tour. Comment below which city I should eat in next and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Just a problem, I love you.